So <clears throat> we're going to talk about a concept called account hierarchy or customer hierarchy. So account hierarchy and customer hierarchy. So there is a concept called uh, account hierarchy and also customer hierarchy. So these are the two different concepts which we have. Account hierarchy and uh, customer hierarchy. Now these concepts are um, also related to Good morning, Rajesh. So account hierarchy and the customer hierarchy. I would like you guys to make a note of these two lines. Account hierarchy and the customer hierarchy. account hierarchy and customer hierarchy. Okay. Now, this happens, this concept of account hierarchy and customer hierarchy happens quite often in our real world. Good morning, Say. It's a very common occurrence that this concept happens. Now, what is account hierarchy and customer hierarchy? Account hierarchy and customer hierarchy, it is called account hierarchy in CRM and it's called customer hierarchy in SD. So it's a similar concept on both sides. Now, what is this account hierarchy basically means? Many times, many of these large customers, Costco, Messi, Home Depot, Walmart, etc. They are large corporations. They exist everywhere in the entire country. You will see that there is a store for, uh, so there are um, account hierarchies, which basically <clears throat> means that we have uh, different uh, customers assigned to each other. So now, now when we talk about, let us say, um, so when we talk about, let us say, customer, like, uh, Home Depot or Costco. So Costco is everywhere. So if you look at this figure 23, so on the top, there is a national Costco. This national Costco can also be regional, not east, west, south. And then for the region, you can also be state, New Jersey, New York, Pennsylvania. In the New Jersey, you can have a BP. BP means business partner. So in New Jersey, how many stores you have? In Pennsylvania, how many you have? New Jersey, how many you have? And then you can create 
a tree structure. This custom hierarchy or account hierarchy is quite often used for the purpose of reporting and the, for the purpose of analytics. So now when I say report in analytics, what do you mean by that? So for example, if you are using a custom hierarchy and account hierarchy, you will probably would like to know that how many customers you have, how many Costco you have in New Jersey, how many Costco you have in New York, how many Costco you have in Pennsylvania, how many Costco you have in Northeast, how many Costco you have in America, how many Costco you have in Mexico, how many Costco you have in Canada. So you can use customer hierarchy to group their customers together. And that is where the customer hierarchy come into the picture. And that is where the customer hierarchy can be used. So this is a national Costco, region Costco. This is a Northeast in the North. This is New Jersey, this is New York, this is Pennsylvania. In New Jersey, we have these two states. In New York, we have these uh, business partners or stores. In Pennsylvania, you have all these different stores. So you can define. So you can have, and then you can use this custom hierarchy for all these different reasons for buying growth, for cooperative, for chain, for retail stores, for all, all of them. So here, you can have a buying group, cooperatives, chain, retail outlets, and that is where you can define different organization structures. Okay. Now, what is a buying group in cooperative? Many times, um, a lot of people use buying group. So I will give an example is like um, North America Indian Restaurant Association. It's a group. You want to combine them together. So that could be another example where we can utilize such functions. Now, another thing is, we have a group hierarchy originally maintained in CRM, can be transferred into the app. Make a note of uh, one, two, three, these three lines, which I highlighted. So please make a note of these three lines. Okay. So make a note of these three lines, which I highlighted. Group hierarchy originally maintained in CRM cannot be transferred to ERP system. So, as I mentioned to you, this concept of account hierarchy and customer hierarchy is there on both sides. So this concept of account hierarchy and customer hierarchy is also there in SD, and this concept is also there in MS. So, this concept is in both sides. Now, when this concept is in both sides, now what does this basically mean? So if you're creating a customer hierarchy in CRM, then you cannot transfer that account hierarchy from CRM to ECP. 
But if you maintain this customer hierarchy in SD, then you can load into CRM. So from CRM to SD, Nana. From SD to CRM, ha huh, ha. Huh. Yes, yes. And uh, these are the initial data transfer object. Object is real class. Make a note of this also, please, quickly. Make a note of this object as well. Make a note of this object as well. Make a note of this object as well. Initial data transfer object DNL cust underscore CHIT. This is name of a object which you can use for the purpose of transferring the account hierarchy from backend ECC to CRM. Now, look at here. Why we use account hierarchy? How do we use account hierarchy? By pricing and for reporting. So we can use account hierarchy for pricing. For pricing now what is the meaning of that what is the meaning of that is so you can decide the discount for a specific country and for a specific location so for example if we see that you have a discount three percent you see the picture here so I want to give a three percent discount to all my stores in US, but not Mexico, not Canada. I want to give a discount 5% to all my stores in North, but not in South, not in West. So you can use customer hierarchy to give in a discount. Then we have a reporting structure. Reporting structure basically means you can define different kind of reports. You can define different kind of a reports in SAP. So you want to run the report on the basis of org structure. You want to run a report on the basis of defining And you can run report how much sale you did in uh, US, how many sales you did in this country, how much sale you did in this. So on the basis of that, you can define, you know, all these different reports. So the reporting is absolutely possible, which you can do based upon customer hierarchy. So customer hierarchy or org hierarchy is very extensively used. And it is very extensively used for two reasons. For pricing, and it's also very extensively used for reporting. Pricing and the reporting are the two different reasons for that we use customer hierarchy quite extensively and most people use very extensively so this is something uh, which is uh, one of the very commonly predominantly used function in the SAP system okay. so we need to know that okay. so pricing and reporting I want to do an exercise. 
So we did one exercise yesterday. I want to do another exercise. So I want to create a count hierarchy customer hierarchy in SAP CRM. Make a note, please. Please make a note. Okay. I want to get a customer hierarchy and a contact. So make a note of that, please. Now, how do we create custom hierarchy and account hierarchy that we're going to see? So make a note of that, please. And I want to go and create this account hierarchy. Okay. Uh, so we log into SAP system. I go to master data, business partner. And here we have a maintain group hierarchy. So please make a note of that. Make a note of that. So we go to maintain group hierarchy. Then we go to, if you look at here carefully, we have a hierarchy three. Okay. So in a hierarchy tree, So I can select category for what purpose I'm using, whatever I can choose. I can create a structure also. I want to create a new hierarchy tree. I call uh, G hierarchy Okay, so I can create um, a 
काउंट हेर आर की So here we can. This is hierarchy tree. Create a hierarchy node. I'm creating a something called knot. And in the notes, I want to assign some business partner. So in the notes, so assign this business partner. I assign another business partner. So with the not, we have assigned these two business partners. Now let us say I want to create a south. So this is national. This is not. This is south. In the north, we have these two business partners. In the south, we don't have any business partner because I'm not assigned. So let me assign some business partner to the south. So I assign to the south I assign another business partner to the south. I another another business partner to the south. So that is how you can create. I've just created a very simple example. You can create uh, as many as a structure as possible. So in this structure, this is national. This is north. This is south. In the north, we can have a. We can in south we can have these three business partner. In the north we can have these business partner. Okay. So we can have. This is how we can create. A customer hierarchy, as much as as you want. You choose any name, or is there any schema? You can choose any name as you want. So, and you can create, you can assign as many as customer. I assign only two, and I only assign here three. And you can assign as many as you want. Okay, so we create one uh, small uh, customer hierarchy. Or we created uh, something called uh, group hierarchy. Now we want to do a data exchange with the SAP ERP system. How data exchange happen? Let's understand some of the concepts. Look at this figure twenty six. So look at figure twenty six. So we look at it. Figure twenty-six. Now, what is the figure twenty-six tells us? 
what is the figure 26 tells us all in in figure 26 tells us look at carefully how the business partner and how the customers come in uh, SAP CRM, different ways, business partner information can transmit into SAP CRM, how data from the external other applications can come related to business partner in SAP CRM, that is what this is about. Now here in the center of it, we have SAP business partner master data. So here, the data can come from initial load from a legacy system. So when you are using some other CRM, and from that CRM you can transfer the data, you can load the data, mass load, etc. In SAP CRM, you can have a web channel if you are using like a website or you know e-commerce portal. Many times when you go to e-commerce portal, website, Amazon.com, and others, and you put you create your own account in which you put your name, number, and other detail, and all that information which you enter all that information appears and come back to the SAVCR. Or you have a SAVCR field application, which basically means you have a field engineers, field people, or sales people, which goes into sales. And because those field people goes into sale, therefore all that information can be loaded into SAP CRM. Okay. So that is where um, we have something called SAVCRM field application. Then we have something called interaction center work center. Interaction center web client. I would like you guys to make, make a note of that term called interaction center web client. So please make a note of that term called interaction center. Interaction center. Figure 25. Gupta Ji Pachis or Pichatis. Okay, so Interaction Center. Interaction Center is the name for call center. So the call center in SAP CRM is called interaction center so interaction center many times we use the word call center call center call center in sap crm that is called interaction center now we have an account process in sap crm that basically means you can directly enter business partner information in crm which is what we did remember Yesterday, we could sold to party, contact person, person, employee, we link them together and all that. That is an example of creating a business partner information directly in CRM. You can have a BI, BI basically means business intelligence or any kind of reporting tool. In that reporting tool, you have leads and you can take the leads and load the lead and BI tool to SAP CRM. You can download from ERP. Look at this carefully. Download from ERP. That basically means you can download the data from ERP into the CRM. So that is another method. That is another mechanism where the data can be uploaded, can be uploaded in the CRM from the ERP. And that integration happens using Middleware. Now, you see here external list management. I would like you guys to make a note of that term called external list management. External list management. Make a note of that term.
ओके ओके सो मेक ए नोट ऑफ दैट Make a note of that term. <laughs> Transferring the business data. So these are the different methods we talked about. ERP customer master. ERP customer master. The way customer master is created in SAP SD. If you remember, we create we use SAP SD, and using SAP SD, we can uh, you know we can send the data from SD to CRM, and this is how SAP SD customer master look like. I'm very sure. Each one of you has created all these custom master where you have a sales data, general data, purchasing data, uh, sorry, a company code data. This is a screenshot of customer master in the backend ERP system. And we saw when and we did that exercise also in SD that uh, SD customer master has a general data where you enter the address and phone facts and all that information. You have a sales data data where you inform where where you enter sales related data, and then we have a company code data. Company code data is a legal data or financial data. We did this exercise when we were doing in SD. We use the transaction code XD zero one and XD zero two and a few other transactions. Now look at this figure twenty-seven. So look at this figure twenty-seven carefully. In figure twenty-seven, SAP Customer Master versus SAP CRM Business Partner. Now what does this basically mean? This is on the left-hand side. how the customer master is there in r3 and the right hand side is how the customer master is in cr two different systems two different approaches two different methods both are important ऐसे बी सी सी और आर थ्री एंड ऐसे बी सी आर आई विल लाइक यू गाइज टू टेक कपल ऑफ मिनट एंड मेक ए नोट ऑफ दिस एंड मेक ए नोट ऑफ दिस सो वी कैन कंपेयर हाउ एस ए बी सी आर एम कस्टमर मास्टर एंड बिजनेस पार्टनर एंड ई सी सी कस्टमर मास्टर इज कंपेयर So please make a note of both. Okay. Make a note of both. Okay, make a note, please. Please write everything what what you see on the screen because this screen describes the comparison. Comparison of ACP CRM customer master. and how it is being defined in sap crm this is very important 
you understand Okay. Okay. Let me explain now. What does this basically mean? So on the right hand side, we have a CBCRM. left hand side we have customer master in ecc two different concepts two different records okay now let's understand this on sap crm side we discussed that yesterday in the last week we have something called grouping we have something called grouping that control the number range okay so if we go back to here i save it we go back look at my screen carefully so here if i go to business partner this is exercise which we did yesterday this is the grouping this controls the number range the grouping controls number range then we have business partner role and then we have a business partner role you know sole to ship to party and all that and we can define business partner role okay. we can define business partner role okay and then we have a classification so we have a classification so we have a classification classification basically so classification basically means is defined with a count group see that here account group because when customer goes there it hit into some account group so it hit account group So we can define a count group. Now, so we have three things: grouping, business partner role, and classification. Okay. And then here, on the right hand side, 
we have something called account group. So on uh, SD, we have something called account group. In SD, there is no grouping, there is no business partner, no classification. In SD, we have something called account group. If you remember, we created an account group also, we configured an account group, and then that account group control number range, that account group control what kind of partner functions, and that account group also control what kind of field selection we can have. Okay, so that is where we can do account. Okay, mapping of classification and account group. This is important. Okay, make a note of these two and a half lines, please. Make a note of these two half two and a half lines. Make a note of these two and a half lines. So now here, mapping exists between the business front. This is important. This could be asked during mock interviews as well. So this can be asked during mock interviews as well. <laughs> now this describe this describe how CRM and ERP customer master can be integrated. So there is a transaction code that is called PID. The PID is a transaction code in SD, okay. So now I log in. I go to SD. Okay. I log into into SD. Stand up. And I type transaction code PIDE. I'm in SD now. PID is an SD. Okay, so here, so here, so we have a CRM to ERP. Look at carefully, and then R3 to CRM. There are two, two things. If data going from CRM to R3, or when data going from R3 to CRM. So you can go in either of the direction. Okay. So you can go to either of the direction. ERP. To CRM or CRM to ERP. Either way, you can go. It's the same concept. Okay. So here, very simple though. If I want to send the data from R3 to CRM, so there is a classification and it's linked to a control. So when I'm sending the data and then system when it goes, it selects the classification. This is the class. Competitor, prospect, customer, competitor, customer, consumer. You can choose a classification in computer. Or if I'm sending CRM to R3, then I can assign my account group to my classification. So that basically means if I'm sending the data from R3 to CRM, then if this is the account group in in uh, SD, then this will be classification in the CR. Okay. That is how 
system describe That is what you see. That is the screenshot of the PID, which we just looked at. Okay. Now, I want to do some configuration. So I want to do some configuration. Now in the configuration, some important configuration. So I want to configure a new business partner code. So what are we going to do? Configure. a new business partner role okay Configure business partner role. Configure new partner determination. Configure new field selection making some fields mandatory for business partner role test it Okay. In the testing, create a new business partner with custom business partner role. Verify field. Okay. Verify field attributes in business. So that is what we're going to do. So now let's go to the configuration. So for the configuration, a good SPRO. S P R O S A P reference I M G
cross application components sap business partners sap partner basic setting business partner role define bp role make a note of this menu path please <coughs> they can order this menu path <clears throat> this is a menu path where uh, all these different uh, uh, business partner roles are defined can be defined so please make a note of this menu path this is important configuration so here define business partner role Here we have all these different business partner roles which are defined. We have 127 different business partner roles. Some are standard, some are custom. Okay. So here. We have a CRM 000 sold to party. Okay. <coughs> Okay, so I select that, I copy. The first letter should be Z and the last could be whatever let's see what is available because so many has already been created zero zero one is already there Okay, try my luck. Oh Jesus. Zero zero two. Let me check it again. Two is also there. Zero zero three, I don't see. Okay. So zero zero three. We save it. So BP roll Z0003. So we configured a new business partner role Z. Configure a new field selection. This is a, just a copy of a standard. Okay. So this is just a standard. So 
so hit back we close it we close it now i go to field grouping and configure the field attribute by bp role make a note of this menu path please make a note of this menu path please so we go back here and here i have a different field grouping i go to new entry i enter my bp role i hit save i hit enter we select that field grouping so here we can define different uh, field groups so here different fields address so i want to make certain field mandatory for example let's say i want uh, city is required country is required district is required i go to sales tab i want to make a customer group 1 2 3 required in completion group required i go to shipping tab i want to make my delivery priority as required in quota required mode of transport required shipping condition required and i say that so that is how we can make certain field mandatory and optional so we did all this configuration is important configuration now let's take 10 minute break before because it's already over time so let's take a 10 minute break and we'll talk after 10 minutes okay so 10 minute break guys <clears throat> i'm back now and uh i'm going to talk about i want to just recap a couple of things which you have discussed uh, which you have done uh, today we talk about customer hierarchy and account hierarchy and uh, the usage of it and uh, then uh, we can configure any uh, <clears throat> and we created our account hierarchy we created a small structure the another thing which is very important which we discussed actually was related to transaction code pide so pide is a transaction code in ecc in that transaction code pide we saw that how ERP customer can be transferred to CRM and how the CRM customer can be transferred to ERP. Then we also discussed, and then we also talked about the comparison of the customer master and the business partner. So as we talked that customer master is a concept in SD and business partner is a concept in CRM. and also as i said yesterday business partner is the concept for the future so now all the new dimensional product like sap s4 hana it also use business partner concept in fact all other uh, all other new dimensional product like srm it also use business partner concept if we talk about uh, other uh, new dimensional concept like fscm 
that also use business partner concept. So SAP CRM, SAP SRM, SAP FSCM, and also SAP S4 HANA, which we discussed yesterday, they all use this concept of business partner. So business partner is the concept which is used in the feature in all um, in all the different uh, new dimensional products. SAP CRM is already using this business partner concept for many years. SAP SD uh, customer master concept in all uh, new dimensional product is redundant, is actually not carried forward. But we need to understand that how these concepts are compared and how these concepts are, uh, how we can understand them in a comparative manner. So in SAP SD, when you're creating a customer master, and uh, when we create a customer master in SD, we created many, many times uh, when we are doing SAP SD, there's a transaction code XD01, XD02, XD03 for create change and display. And then we use a field called account group. So account group is a key in SD which controls the attributes of the customer. In CRM, business partner, there is no account group. What we have in SAP CRM, three different things. One is called grouping, which control the number range. The second one is a business partner role, which gives in a business context means what role, what kind of business role would be performed by this business partner. So for example, sold to or shipped to or built to or whatever. <coughs> and then we have something called classification. Now what we are doing an exercise, we are creating an exercise in which we are actually creating a new uh, new business partner role. We consider a new business partner role. We configure a new business partner role. And that new business partner role, we want to do discuss and talk Okay. So now, configure a business partner role. So we have configured role. Now we want to test it. I come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. I want to go to business partner. We go to organization. Okay, so here if I go to drop down and this is a sold to party which you have created. Okay, so 
so we created a neocon group go to party I select my account group now. You see that here in drop down? And it creates it. Now, here, if you see, Certain fields are mandatory. Post with code, city, country, region. Now, if I go to sales area data and uh, I select my sales organization, I select my distribution channel and see I get a red mark here. See that here? There is a red mark. Now, this red mark is basically telling us that there is something mandatory. So there is a, something mandatory and uh, that mandatory actually is not uh, So I enter this and then I hit enter and see the message in the bottom. See the message in the bottom carefully. It says make an entry in the record field. Now that basically means we have we have field which is mandatory. which is mandatory and which you have not entered. And we enter here. Then I hit enter. Then tell me another that I have a account group three also that is also mandatory. Incomplete, see message in the bottom again. I make an incompletion group as mandatory, that is also coming as mandatory. Now, there is no message on this though, but you still have a red mark though. That red mark doesn't go. I still have a red mark. We go to shipping. We go to FOB, we're out. Now, see here. Second part is missing, so we enter second part. See the message, shipping condition is mandatory. See that here? All these messages were not coming before. So that shipping condition I enter. Delivery tolerance. We make it mandatory. Mode of transport, another field which is mandatory. Now, after entering all those fields, there is no problem. 
there is no issue. System do not have any problem. System got all the issues. All uh, so we entered all the fields. Remaining one currency, terms of payment, price list. Okay, so we can save now. So we are able to okay. and see the message in the bottom business partner. Has been saved. Okay. And that is how we can configure. Wonderful. And we verify it. So we did all these configurations. Okay. Configure. Um, Unit number three. So unit number one, two, we've done three. Unit number three, we are not doing. Unit number three, we are not doing now. We will do later on. So I pass on it. This is another concept. So the concept of the organization model, which we see here, the same concept is used in SAP as for HANA also. So organization model is another concept which is used in SAP as for HANA. Now we're going to talk about there is something called product master. In the product master, we're going to talk about product masters. Now we're going to the next topic. And this concept of the product master is also being used in SAP as for HANA. Now this SAP, uh, this uh, concept are uh, very important. Basic features of product master and how the product master works. The first one is product type. The first one is product types. Now look at this figure 46 carefully. Let's look at this figure 46 carefully. Carefully. 
So in the product types, we have a material, service, warranty, financing, and intellectual property. Let us understand. These are the product types in SAP CRM, and I was mentioning this product master concept. This is also carry forward in a new dimensional product like SAP S4 HANA and all that. Let's understand this. <clears throat> Material master. So I'm selling laptop. I'm selling a laptop. That is called material. I'm selling laptop, I'm selling desktop, I'm selling a server. So those are different materials. Now for that laptop, I'm also selling service, repair service. So that service is also a product. Then we also have a warranty. Warranty basically means you can sell along with a laptop two year warranty. Warranty and service are two different things. They're two different categories. Okay. Then we have something called financing. If you're a bank, you're selling loan, you're selling mortgage. So for a bank, that loan is a product. That mortgage is a product. And then we are also selling IT, which basically means I'm also selling intellectual property. These are product types in SAP CRM. Material, service, warranty, financing, intellectual property. These product types are predefined in the system. Make a note of that box. Product types are predefined in the system. Make a note of that statement. Product types are predefined. You cannot define a new product type. Product types are defined and given by SAP to us. Product types are defined and provided to us by SAP to us. Okay, that is called product types. Product types are predefined in the system. They're predefined, given by SAP. We cannot define. Remember, we so we, we, we discuss a similar concept in case of business partner. In case of business partner, we saw there is something called business partner categories. In we, we saw there are three categories. Remember, we have a category of uh, organization, group, and person. Those categories are also predefined. Similarly, here in the product also, categories are predefined. Categories also predefined. ERB material master can be transferred to CR. Make a note of that statement also. The second statement, please. Make a note of that as well.
make a note of that so that basically means erp material master can be translated to crf okay now if you look at this curse if you look at this figure 46 so we have a notebook this is a product you are selling a laptop <coughs> for that laptop you are also selling a repair service if something goes wrong we can sell the repair service as well and then we can also have two year warranty So we can also have warranty. So material, service, warranty is very robust. You can handle different dimensions of product in SBCR. So from that perspective, it's very powerful because it, you can you can include all these different dimensions. It's not that easy to handle. In SAP CC, it's much more simpler here. You see the HD 1010 SRV1 underscore 4 SCR 02. These are some of the standard product masters which is defined in SAP. Please make a note of it. Some of them I'm going to use myself. We're going to create our own material also, and we are also going to create these masters as well. So please make a note of it. Make a note of these, please. Okay. Maintaining product master. We're going to do this exercise. You can create a material master. You can change a material master. You can display a material master. You can also use copy function. So, all those different functions and capabilities are possible. All these functions and capabilities. Are possible in SAP. I would like you guys to make a note of these three, the two and a half line which I highlighted. Please make a note of them quickly. So that basically means you can have a certain business add-ins. So using these business add-ins, basically we can uh, allow. we can allow certain changes so that is where the business add-ins come into the picture okay. so you can make changes aha relationships in the business partner we had this concept of relationship <laughs> Business partner is a
So relationship concept. We saw in business partner. And we have the same concept in a product master also. And we can do that exercise as well. Now look at here. So now look look at here. So I have a product one, product two, product one, product two, another product, another product. Now see the relationship in between them. See the concept of relationship between them. You can link these product using relationship. So let's say I have this product. SG desk 10 10. Okay. And then you have another product. You can link product A to product B. Now, this is my laptop. And this laptop. Has a floppy drive now. Well, anyway, nobody uses floppy drive anymore. These floppy drives are redundant. Just an example. There's the relationship between the laptop and the floppy drive is of accessory. So the relationship between the both is of accessories. Now here we have a SG desk and another product. Now this is called customer material number. Now let's talk about that though. Customer material number. Make a note of that term. It's called customer material number. And this is something which a lot of people use and it's important. Customer material number. Make a note of that term. This concept quite often used in the real world. Customer material number. Customer material number is a number of our material product given by our customer. Make a note of that term. So this concept is being used where uh, I call my customer one, two, three. That one, two, three is my product ID. That is my ID to my product. Now, many times what happens is customer use different ID. Customer use different ID. That is called for my material. In our system, in our SAP system, we keep cross reference of our internal material number plus material number given by customer to our product. So when customer orders, we can recognize internal product number. Make a note of this term, please. Make a note of this term, please. Okay. This is a customer material number. This concept is same though. 
we have a customer material concept in SD and also in CR. This concept is common and is on both places. So this custom, this concept is on both places. This customer is on both places. Now, if you look at here, I call my product SD-11. That is my material number. But my customer, BP3271, this customer calls my product with the number MS-1010. Okay. Now, this is another relationship. So this is my product. And with this product, I have a service. SRB1 underscore 4 is a service. Now, this product and this service is linked with the relationship category called risk by service. So you can link your product to a service using a relationship category called service. Make a note of one, two, two and a half lines. Quickly make a note of these lines, please. Make a note of these lines, please. Okay, so custom material distribution chain middleware object is used to download ERP customer material number to CRM. So this custom material info record, this concept is on both sides. It is in ERP also, it is in CRM also. So if you have this custom material info record in, in uh, ERP, you can download that into CRM and you can download that using a middleware object that is called custom underscore material underscore info. Okay. You can also define in SAP CRM call competitor product. So I can define my product and I can also define competitor product as well. So we can define both. We can define our product and we can also define competitor product. Take a note of that term as well. Now, if you see here, this figure 51, this is ERP and this is CRM. So how I can download the material from ERP to CRM. But see here, two options, initial load and delta load. Initial load basically means when you go live, at that time, you can download the material from ERP to CRM. And data load basically means when you keep getting these products then these products you can constantly and continuously download as well. So you can download these product once at the time of go live that you will be doing anyways. And then you can also download these products on a continuous basis. You can download initial load and data load. We're going to talk about how do we do this initial load and how do we do this data load we're going to talk about. I would like you guys to make a note of these two boxes though. So these two, please make a note. Okay. So make a note of these two, please. Lines which I highlighted. So material master data is uh, replicated from ERP to CRM using CRM middleware and the object, middleware object 
which is used to download the data is called material so m a t e r i l is a object which can be used to download the data from crm to erp to cr and i will be showing that also when we are doing the middleware we're going to talk about where this object is and where this initial load and data load is okay so we'll talk about that as well but for now make a note of it make a note of these three lines now what these three lines are saying you can allow disallow each product can customize it so for example you can allow that what kind of product can be uploaded and what kind of product cannot be uploaded so you have a control because you may or may not like every product or every type of product every category of product to be uploaded so you can decide that which product you wanted to upload and which product you don't want to upload so you have a choice and you can decide so allow and disallow unit summary before we go to next topic i want to do an exercise i want to create product master exercise in the product master exercise i want to create i want to create a material i want to create a material make a note of that i want to create a material so i want to create a material So now we log into SAP. Back, back, and here I have a product and maintain product. So this is the transaction code and menu path for maintaining product. Please make a note of it. maintain product and it reaches to the product workbench as you see here we have material we have service we have financing warranty and all that i select material i am selecting material so i am creating a material product and from the drop down i select category there are many categories and i select the category called finish goods mat underscore fert make a note of that please So this is the category.
एम ए टी अंडर स्कोर एफ आर टी एफ ई आर टी मेक ए नोट ऑफ इट सो मेक ए नोट ऑफ इट I hit create button. I enter the product description. So let's say I'm creating a laptop. Hit enter. We generate a material number. i enter unit of measure each i go to sales and distribution and here i assign my sales area okay I can enter my sales unit measure. Enter my item category. This is a normal item. Sex classification. None. I go to conditions. Okay. Now here I will enter the price. Okay. So from the top down. I can select my price condition. Enter my sales organization. And sales area and distribution channel. Enter my price. I fifty. Yes, dollars. green button and we can sell it so we are we have created a product so we created a product in a sap crm I create a product called laptop in SBCR. Okay. 
So I enter the product. Now we're going to take. Uh, we'll take a 10 minute break and we'll talk up to 10. So 10 minute break and we'll talk up to 10. Okay. So I'm back now. So we're talking about the product master. And uh, we talk about different product types. This is a SAP CRM product master is highly flexible. You can define different product types. And we talked about in the product type, you can have a material product type. So for example, you are selling a laptop. So laptop is a material. You can sell service. So for that laptop, you are also selling a service. So that becomes your service uh, product type. And then <clears throat> for that service, you are also selling <coughs> five-year warranty. So that warranty also become the service. And then you can have you can also have different other kind of a product. For example, you're selling finances. So in case of selling finances, you're selling loan you can have a financial warrant uh, product. And we created a product master also. So we went to product master, and then we created a different kind of product. I want to create another product. So I want to create a material product accessories. Creating accessories. Okay. Creating accessories. Okay, so for that, again, I go back to the product workbench, same steps. I go to material. I select the uh, product category material. I select the category material underscore FERT. Hit continue. And let us say I'm creating a laptop bag okay this is a product id which has been generated automatically if we scroll down Enter the unit of measure. Each sales and distribution tab. Assign my sales area. I use my sales unit. 
into my item category group. Into my text classification. And then we go to conditions. I select the conditions. <laughs> select my sales organization. <coughs> Thank you. Um, select my sales area and distribution channel. And I select my product, $60. So we buy this product. And this product is for And we save it. Material has been saved. Now what I want to do, I want to link main material to accessories material. So this is my okay. so enter my main material to my substream material. So I open my main material I this is a display mode so I go to change mode and then here we have a relationship tab this is a relationship I make a note and I go to the relationship. And when I go to relationship, I have a various relationships here. You see that here? So many relationships. So now here I enter my sub so my laptop. I put as a necessary. Now all these things you cannot do it in a CPSD. You cannot, and that is not possible. Okay. And then we save it. I want to create another uh, exercise. I want to create a service product so now i want to create a 
సర్వీస్ ప్రోడక్ట్ and for creating a service product go back i go to main product box bench and here we have a service okay. we go to service ఓకే ఇన్ ద కేటగిరీ వీ సెలెక్ట్ సర్వీస్ కేటగిరీ నా కంటిన్యూ i am entering laptop repair service now here for this it doesn't take product master automatically so we need to enter the product master so i will say repair i go to now we have a different tab called service tab if you see here item category group now the if you see the field is different so here i can use a service product srvp so item category is srvp which is service product hit enter we enter service profile 247 response profile business is standard working into hour so this is base unit major is hour i can enter the sales and distribution data now i select my sales organization and i enter my item category group srvp sales unit because service i put hours so we going to put it in hourly basis us text type we go to conditions
சில கண்டிஷன் டைம் end of my sales organization enter the amount what is rupee per hour and we save it so this is my service now i want to link my main material to service product so i go to product open enter my product you cannot do all these different additional functions and features in sd okay. it's not possible and now i go to relationship and here i hit it enter and i want to enter my service product so i link my service and i say now another thing is i want to do i want to go to customer if you see here so i want to another exercise which i want to do here is linking main material with customer material in for a card main material with a customer material in for a card so now i select my business partner so i select my business partner so i select my business partner costco and costco so i call it laptop and os costco call it something different this is the product number given by costco to our product so this is linked in my product id and the costco product. and we said
in this way. Okay. So now I'm finishing the class. Thank you, everyone. And talk to you next week. Thank you. Bye.